I don't think I could have been an author had I not been a teacher. And I don't think I could have been anything but an author having been a teacher because there's a, there's a direct correlation in writing. I teach, I share stories and I share uh, traditional values and, and dreams and it's all about sharing. If I could speak to every student and every teacher and every listener out there, I wouldn't bother writing, I would just share orally. I prefer telling stories than, than writing them. As a child, I got in trouble for talking. In kindergarten, just, David, would you stop talking? In grade four, David, not one teacher ever said to me, you know, some of your stories are interesting. Not one person ever picked up on the fact that as a 60-year-old, I'd be making my life talking. So I say to teachers and parents, when you think a child has an issue, look closely. It may be their gift. I tell stories. Thus, I write. I write because I can't reach as many people as I'd like to reach. But if I could talk to everyone, I wouldn't bother writing. I tell better stories than I write. And as a little boy, I remember wanting to tell jokes and loving sharing stories that I thought were funny or sharing things that were interesting, even as a man. When I travel places and, I, and something interesting happens to me, I think everybody wants to know. I was in Flin Flon, Manitoba, and I, I, I met a, an old trapper who fell in love with a fox. And I wasn't halfway to Winnipeg that I was telling total strangers about this man who fell in love with a fox. And I described the story to a T. It had the makings for a book, but it had nothing to do with the book. It was all about the story. And our lives are all stories. We live stories. But I have used this gift, and that's I'm a storyteller. Thus, I'm a writer.